Hello future subscribers. So this is the first photo. And I'm gonna select the crop tool and crop it to a rectangle. I'm gonna enlarge it like this. And just even make it bigger. And just crop it like like this. I'm uh, gonna drag a rectangular selection around here and hit Ctrl plus J to duplicate the selection of the girl. Let's rename this layer to girl and here I've opened another document just click and drag it like so and you can also use the move tool to drag it inside the first document I'll close this one Control plus T to transform it. Change the blending mode to something that I can see or just decrease the opacity so that I can see the layer below. And just position it however you like i'll position it somewhere here maybe a bit lower next i'll set the opacity back to 100 percent and i'll select the brush tool set the size to somewhere around 700 pixels and set the hardness to zero here for the brush mode it's usually set to normal pick the second option dissolve and now this is painting with black but if you add a layer mask here to the layer let's rename it to boy and if you add a layer mask to this layer and select it and now paint with black on the layer mask this makes the layer with the girl appear below i'll hit ctrl plus t to make it larger like so next i'm gonna select my top layer and from here click and add a hue saturation adjustment layer and i'm going to increase the saturation so that we work with more vivid colors to i don't know even 56 I'll select my boiler and need to, I don't know, move it around a bit. Okay, this is fine. I'll select the layer mask again. And I'll paint some more, revealing the girl. Hit X to paint with white to this time hide parts from the girl layer I'll duplicate the girl layer again hit control plus J to do this 
our load opacity to maybe 50% control plus T to resize it and this time make it larger like so move it somewhere around the center and then drag the girl copy layer to the top uh okay i also need my hue saturation layer to stay at the top i will also add a layer mask to the girl copy layer from here and I will also add a levels adjustment layer to the top to add some extra contrast. Increase the blacks and the grays. Make everything lighter like so. Also and I need a bigger brush, 100% capacity for my brush, and I'll paint on my grill copy layer with a black brush like so. I'll duplicate my boiled layer, control plus J bring it to the top here and move it more towards the center and resize it even more now reduce the opacity a little to around 30% I'll bring it lower, maybe a little bit bigger opacity. And again, working on the layer mask, painting with black, maybe smaller brush size. Just remove some of it. I need to bring back of the face of the go copy layer so i'll be painting with white so swap the colors from here or hit x on the keyboard to switch to white and paint on the girl copy layer mask like so for the boy copy layer i think i need a higher opacity maybe 42 and I'll be painting with some white to review some more of his eye and you can see how an interesting effect starts to emerge I'll get back to my group copy layer select the layer mask no I want to go to the girl layer and add a layer mask to it and again paint with paint with black I'm showing from the background what did I want to give me a second guys so the boy okay let's select the boy layer and paint with black to reveal the face here and if you paint on the here on the first girl layer, you can review some of the background if you want to. But I think this would be too much, so I'll just paint with the boy layer mask layer. Like so. I'll select the background layer and add a solid color it with white and I'll just select the girl layer and reduce the opacity a bit so that we gain some depth some feeling of depth and 
and you can experiment also with the blending modes I'll select the boy copy layer and try using cover for it or something else I think that screen looks interesting and for the boy layer I'll try actually here it's better if normal and I think that this looks good only I need some more contrast here at the girl copy layer and to make it a bit bigger so control plus T and I'll move it around a bit and I'll just add the curve slayer this time drag this a bit to the left click here so that it only affects the girl layer so drag this point a bit to the left to the right sorry like this drag from somewhere around the center like so and this became a bit too intense so I'll reduce the opacity of the curves layer like so to around 40 percent and I think that the boy copy needs higher opacity yeah you can see how it starts to get some more contrast in here and now bring it a bit higher uh, the eye starts to disappear so I don't know like so and you can see the interesting effect that we're getting I moved the boy layer trying a different position that I think would work better so something higher like so the girl copy layer I'll paint on it with a black brush to reveal some more of his face here and I'll double click on the layer mask to open the properties for it and I'll reduce the density of the mask from here for a different kind of blending now I think that I'll also add a black and white field above the boy copy layer and click here so that it only affects the boy copy and I don't know why it actually doesn't work I think instead of clicking here I'll fill the layer mask with black or control I to invert it and hide it and if I paint with white on it around the boy's face here you see how it starts to become black and white
this gives some extra contrast i'll paint a little bit also to the face here and i'll reduce the opacity to like something that looks better i think around 80 percent and yeah i'll i think this will be the final the final image for this tutorial so thank you guys for watching